Are you a crafter that really loves those beautiful seascapes in real life or maybe even on those cards, but you've seen them and you've thought, mm, that's pretty, but I don't know that I could recreate that. Today, I'm gonna to share my top tips on creating beautiful seaside vistas the easy way using the Sea Breeze collection. Join me and we'll have a lot of fun creating these scenes along with some beautiful elegance that finish these cards the easy way. To get started, we're going to be using the Seabreeze Harbor Stamp and Die Set, and this helps to create the beautiful seascapes within these cards, along with the Sand and Sunsets Stamp and Die Set. So to get started, I stamped various images with the coffee and with the red geranium. Um, it's what I did the boat in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to color. And then the lighthouse scene, we stamped in the nautical blue. Now, oftentimes when you look at scenic um, inspiration like this to get started, you feel a little bit intimidated on how do I get started coloring this, especially if you are not a, um, an advanced colorist, or maybe you just want something that's quick and easy. So I started by adding a little bit of the sunflower to the actual lighthouse. So you could switch this and you could add a little bit more of a reddish color around the edge. So when I do that, I like to pick that up and just kind of sponge right around those edges to get that two-tone color in there. Um, using these sponge daubers, these are the uh, triangular sponge daubers that hinge together, it will allow you to get some more detailed areas the easy way. So you can very quickly and easily see how this starts to come together. Each image will look a little bit different just based on how you color it. Um, for the boat, I would pick that up as well, do some shading around the edges to get more of that sharp red color in there. Um, and then you could always finish it off with maybe a little bit of the tiger lily or even a tea rose archival ink. Um, you can experiment with some of your favorite colors, but those colors look really beautiful. Um, with the canoe, kind of it has that uh, bright red pop in there. So for the cabin in the background, I'll add a little bit of the orange color. Now, depending on where you want this lighthouse to be situated, you could do a little bit of reddish autumn colors into the trees. But today we're doing kind of a, um, I did a little bit of the garden patina on the tree tips, and then I'm just filling in with the vivid chartreuse. Um, so as you can see, this scene starts coming together beautifully, and honestly, there are areas that I am overlapping those stones a little bit, but it's okay. Um, so we'll go back and add a little bit of the coffee on the rest of the stones um, to get that quick color in there. Um, finish off with some garden patina, um, on the edges of the water. And then you can go back, if you want that water to look a little bit more crisp, a little bit darker, you could go in with a nautical blue and just press down with the tip of that dauber. You can always test this off just a little bit if you want um, to see how much color you have on your dauber. But you can kind of get those dark, uh, oops, I sponged on the green. <laughs> um, but you can always get a little bit of that dark edge um, and those waves in there if you want it. So you could continue doing that. So in a matter of minutes, your scene is completely colored and you just need to accent it with glitter or however you want. Now the fence was a fun way to color. We just added a little bit of the yellow kind of at the base and I'm just gonna do the left side of this fence because we just need that portion for the left side of the card. So just a little bit of yellow, um, a little bit of the vivid chartreuse on the weeds that are in there, a little bit of garden patina on the leaf tips. And then I went back with a little bit of the coffee. So you don't have to be a master colorist. And honestly, I just uh, do some very quick coloring um, that when this all comes together with the beautiful glitter, the prills, and we layer that scene together, it just looks very uh, kind of like a sandy seashore. So that's how you get started coloring those beautiful images. 
To get started creating the card base, I cut a six by six card panel and I opened the center by cutting an eyelet rectangle and two frames overlapping. So on the inside, we have one of the beautiful papers from the Seabreeze paper collection. And now we're ready to start adding that lighthouse scene. So I start out with the beautiful lighthouse in the background and that is the largest image within this uh, card base that we're using. So my largest image is always what I will position first. And then you can start building your seascape right around that. So you could go ahead and just add that to the center of your card. I added a little pop dot on the, the lighthouse area. Um, and then once that has been covered, you can go ahead and kind of lay in your, the rest of your pieces and make sure that it is coming together in the way that you want it to look. You are the a creator of the seascape, so you have some creative license with it. I added some foam dots in the back, and then I kind of just, with my, the tweak of my fingers, just add a little curve in that fence, so that really adds some extra dimension and interest to that. So you can go ahead and layer that. I let that go just a little bit off of the card. And then um, this beautiful little seagull, I trimmed off the bottom of it, and we're just gonna sit that right on top so it looks like it's meshed in with the scenery. So you have that extending just a little bit. And do you see how that just really starts to come into play? So one thing I love to do personally is start out by just creating a bunch of stamped and die cut images and then you can lay them in and that will help start creating that scene. So the this part of the fence, I cut it off partially and we're going to add that to the left side. So we're just gonna pop that right in here and then we're ready to go back, add our canoe, um, which is really beautiful in this scene. I love how that just adds an extra level of dimension and just makes you feel like you're at the seashore. Um, so then you can go back, you can add your elements um, and your glitter, which we'll do next, and add those little birdies on the top, and you have a beautiful card in no time. To finish it off, you've got to add those crystal accents, prills, and some fun fish netting. Um, we just used a piece of cheesecloth. We added some glue, some glass shards, some prills, um, and added a little sponge, a little bit of color on here. So you can just add some glue to the back of this and it really makes and finishes it off as a very realistic scene. So you can just bunch this together, just put that onto your card. You can kind of tuck in some of those um, raw edges. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, if you don't want the fence to extend off the side of your card, you can always trim that off or you could always um, just use a little bit larger envelope when you're mailing it or giving it to your friend. So we're gonna put this on both sides. Do you see how fun that is? And then you can go back with your um, yellow sponge, a little bit of your dries clear glue. Um, you can sponge on top of the fence um, and you can sponge a little bit down in this section. Uh, you could always go back and add a little bit of crystal lacquer on the water. Um, to give it a nice watery effect. But if you add this um, crystal, so let me show you the bottle this comes from. So you'll just tap that off and you have a nice kind of crystally effect. Um, this is the Crystal Clear um, by Rajni Chwala. And the bottom, if you wanna have it kind of look like a glittery sand, um, you could go back with your coffee bean and just very lightly kind of sponge um, some color on top of that, that glitter. Um, and you have a kind of a nice sandy, glittery seashore. There are so many different samples and projects and cars you can create with the Seabreeze collection. So the Seabreeze Arbor stamp and die are one of those classic elements. Here's another way you can use those using the beautiful lighthouse, the fence, the little canoe, the rocks. Um, so many beautiful details using elegant dies, just pairing that beautiful lighthouse in the background. The design team did an amazing job creating with these. Don't you just love how the, the fence is just used a little bit, then you've got the anchor with the seagull, the clouds, such a stunning background with that. Um, and then this is the card that um, we just created completely finished with that, that um, water. So that is the finished look of what you'll get when you're creating yours. And this one is a little bit larger. You've got those beautiful iconic seashells. You've got the beautiful lighthouse and then a background 
with that beautiful paper, the Seabreeze Collection. The Seabreeze Collection is incredible um, with the papers. Um, I love, love that. I can't wait to show you that. So here you have your clouds, your little birdies, that canoe, seashells that cut out individually, and then the stunning sunset. Watch for that on the card samples. All of those items will be easily cut, cut out with your dies. Here we have that. I love how the sailboat's in the background. You haven't seen that stamp set yet. And then we've got the little boat. Pair that with the beautiful background papers and you have a really great base to anchor your stamps and dies. Here we have that little sunset with the sails in the background. So these make beautiful uh, masculine cards or for those um, friends in your life that love the outdoor seascapes. Here's one pairing it with a window, making the window look open, looking out onto um, the water with the sunset. Isn't that stunning? I love, love how that turned out. Here's a fold-out card creating a beautiful scene using all those different uh, stamps and dies. Here you've got that beautiful sunset stamped onto the paper, so it's kind of like a create, creates a silhouette against the background. Love how that turned out. So, so many different ways you can add your seashells to it as well. Here you've got another one with that beautiful sunset, add the fence and the little canoe. You've got a beautiful Father's Day idea for next year. Then last but not least, the A Day at Sea Stamp and Die Set. You've got this beautiful rope frame, a smaller lighthouse, some little seaweeds, and a sailboat. This one I love how um, you can get many different variations just based on how you pair it together. Here's one using a tag as a base, anchoring those little seashells and the frame, adding the small lighthouse. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, if you're looking at these cards and you're like, I wanna know how to create these more in depth um, on the blog throughout the month of October, we're going to feature these um, with instructions. So make sure you pop in there. Um, you can print those off to get ideas or a reminder too, if you just type in the name of a stamp or die that you own, click on that link and it'll bring up all the samples of what we've made with it. So beautiful way to layer these together. Here's one with a circle paired with a rectangle, adding that lighthouse. Here's one with an oval in the frame. Isn't that stunning? And here's one using the wild asters, more of a sunset tone and using the beautiful papers as a background. Last but not least, I've got a double page layout that my mama did of some water scenes. So the papers paired with those beautiful stamped images allow you to create those um, beautiful background scrapbook pages um, that really capture those trips that you may have taken to the seashore. So here's the paper, stunning six by six card front panels, elements that you can cut apart. Um, you can 3D and layer very easily um, for those projects that will just add the extra finishing touch. Um, and we've got the six by six panels in here as well. We've got the die cut images that you can, that are already pre-colored for you, which is awesome. And you've got those matte pieces that you can layer. And then we finish it off with a six by six and the tags at the very end. So perfect paper collection to go with these stamps and dies. The options to create beautiful seascapes different ways by layering the dies and stamps together are endless. I can't wait to see what you create. You can share your projects with us on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me today and for being part of the Heartfelt Creations crafting family. If you don't have the Seabreeze collection yet, make sure to get yours ordered today. I've added the links below for a quick and easy ordering. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.